Hey everybody, Frank from 5am Ramen here in a snowy Kanagawa Prefecture. Kanagawa Prefecture is just south of Tokyo. It doesn't snow that often in Tokyo, maybe once every three years or so, and not cold enough to stick, but it does make for a nice landscape in the winter, not to mention white hair on my head. And I'm visiting one of the highest ranked ramen shops in this area and in the whole country. And this ramen shop has the unusual distinction of having syringes, which are used to inject a flavored oil into the soup. Looking forward to this experience and sharing it with you. Let's do it. Just taking shelter underneath a few trees here. You can see the train going by. It's been snowing non-stop so a little bit drier underneath this tree canopy here. And this is where I'll give you my recap of ramen mu. And like a lot of these sort of bowls out there, it's very high level, of course. It ticks all the boxes. They're doing everything they're supposed to do. That is, they're using high quality soy sauce to basically hold up a soup that is a cordial blend, let's say, of chicken, two types in this case, along with several types of fish, including and especially niboshi or sardines. Niboshi, of course, are a very important ingredient in ramen. This place showcases that. But like a lot of these style bowls, you know, the chicken is kind of in the front and then the fish flavors are in the back. I would say it's the same thing. The first thing you taste is that chicken warmth. The second thing you taste in the background are those fish flavors. But the fish flavors weren't overpowering despite this place really wanting to showcase the fish. In other words, it was well balanced. But I will say that the soup was on the saltier side, just a heads up. And you also had some sourness there as well. I don't normally have this style multiple times in a day. And when I I say this style again, let's say soy sauce powered, chicken forward, modern ramen. So sometimes I just make a mental note. This one was sweeter, this one was more sour, this one was salty, that kind of thing. And this place was more on the salty and sour side. And going back to the chicken for a second, the reason why the first thing you taste is the chicken flavors is not just coming from the soup, but the large amount of chicken oil or chiyu that they pour on top of the soup. So with your first sip, that's naturally what you get first. Thin noodles, made by Mikawaya Seimen, famous noodle manufacturer, and relatively dry. And since I'm not doing a big ramen day or having a bowl after this, I'm actually going ice skating. As such, I decided to order all toppings. You've got the barrel-shaped soft pork chashu slices there, also nice and smoky broiled pork chashu along with chicken chashu and quality pork dumplings. And it also came with a soft boiled egg. So soft, it's gonna fall apart when you pick it up, or at least when you break it in half. All that for a good price. And funny enough, the ramen shop is right next to the skating rink I'm going to right now. But I do have some time to kill before the reservation. So maybe I'll just sit under this tree and hopefully people don't call the authorities. <laughs> Anyways, ramen mu. Everything I expected it would be high level of execution and they are actually in the Tabelog Hyakumeiten or the top 100 ramen shops in East Japan. We're in Kanagawa, Kanagawa being part of East Japan. Tabelog is basically a Yelp for food and in this case ramen. And that's pretty much it for me in this quick ramen shop review video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. This is Frank from 5am Ramen signing out from a snowy Tammachi, Kanagawa. Thanks for tuning in.